What is up guys, it's Lesson 3 Reviews here and today we actually have a tutorial on how to defeat a mini boss in Sekiro which Shadow Dies Twice. Uh, I'm kinda late to this game, it's 2021, uh, but I have the Game of the Year edition so here I am playing this game. The dude we're killing today is a mini boss called Shinobi Hunter Enshin and he's a pain in the ass. Let's jump straight into the action here. So before we begin, make sure you guys have the loaded axe as your prosthetic tool and the health got item ready to go cause that's very important. One more important thing to take note is that you guys have to have the Mercury counter shinobi arts and if you guys don't have it, do farm and uh, get the skill cause it will really help you destroy this boss. Alright so up this staircase here we got a couple dudes guarding the area uh, and they have shields so what we do is you use a prosthetic tool, the axe and break their shields just like that. Get the death blows cause they're really important uh, for a quick kill. Next proceed to this tree branch or should I say trunk right there. And get down into the bushes and hide. And just get to the next branch right on top, on the top right hand corner right there. And then proceed down here, hide in the bushes, be stealthy, that's important. And get close and get the death blow. Do note that they can actually uh, figure out that you're there if you take too long. Uh, jump down right here and make sure you get that first hit on uh, this bowman because he's really irritating. Make sure you okay, don't do that because that's really bad. Uh, kill this guy and reset the whole uh, area by jumping into uh, the big tree branch. Make sure you leave no coins behind. And then jump into this tower right over here and wait for the assassin or should I say the shinobi to uh, get back or turn his back around towards the gate. And this is where you uh, want to be stealthy and uh, get that first uh, death blow uh, in order to just lower down his health bar. Right over here sneak up and get that blow and get prepared to fight to make sure you get your Mercury counter because this is where it's vital uh, when he goes uh, do that move right there uh, and then there's the red uh, Japanese sign make sure you get ready to press B if you're in the control button uh, if you're in the Xbox um, and on the PS4 I believe it's a circle uh, so you just press the circle or the B button and move forward and timing is crucial here so if you screw up uh, like I did in this video uh, you will probably die so yeah so keep your distance and okay I didn't do the mercury counter and that's an example of a bad mercury counter and just resurrect yourself you just uh, it will just take a few mercury counters and blows to actually defeat this guy so it's pretty simple there we go mercury counter get a few hits on this guy and reset uh, the play and there we go mercury, count mercury counter again and pretty much defeat this guy pretty simple Hope this video helped you guys out in enjoying this game more. Uh, I know I certainly did actually had some problems with this boss at first. Uh, but I think with the right skills, you should be able to defeat this guy pretty easily. If you guys find that video helpful, do like, subscribe and leave a comment about your style on defeating this boss. Have a great day, week, month ahead and see you guys in the next video. Peace out.